Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary, how does it go? The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. A radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. A for lower income Americans doesn't equal coverage. Well, we're getting rid of the individual mandate. We're getting rid of those things that people said that they don't want. And you know what? Americans have choices, and they've got to make a choice. And so maybe rather than getting that new iPhone that they just love and they want to go spend hundreds of dollars on that, maybe they should invest it in their own health care. They've got to make those decisions themselves. Oh, I get it. Jason Chavez says, no iPhone for you until you buy the health care. What is wrong with these people? You know, these people live in their own worlds and then they try to run ours. This is not a good combination. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, let them go live in a fantasy world of things that they love, like penthouses with garish decor and uh, well done steaks with ketchup and some women to grab by the genitalia which is the world that Donald Trump actually lived in before he became uh, the president of the United States. So, and the worst president of all time, I must say, so far. The worst, the absolute worst. I mean, this man doesn't believe anything. You know, it, it, Jason Chavez, really, I, I can't, the Americans have to make a choice whether or not they buy an iPhone or they buy health insurance. All right, you, they finally revealed uh, the Trump care. They and. Let's please call it Trump care, even though all day today at the press briefing, which I thought I recorded and apparently I, I didn't um, all day at the press briefing today. They kept saying, well, um, you know, he's the branding master. Uh, he loves to put his name on things. Why doesn't he want to put his name on this health care bill? This is really shocking to us. He loves to put his name on Chinese shirts and ties and uh, Mexican suits and, uh, you know, all, all kinds. But he won't put his name on the American uh, health care plan. Well, that's because he, it's not his plan. He never came up with a plan. Is another one of the myriad of lies that this president has told. He said that he was going to come up with a plan. It was going to be beautiful. It was going to be fantastic, terrific. It was going to be big, big league, cover everybody for less. You'd get more for less. It's going to be, it's going to be fabulous. It's going to be, uh, he never had that plan. Just like he doesn't have a secret plan to, uh, you know, beat ISIS, which, you know, by the way, if you look at my homework section today, you'll see ISIS is uh, almost dis dismantled. Uh, you know, we've killed 60,000 of them. And so now we're wondering where will they go, the remaining people, when, uh, you know, we take away uh, uh, all the land, you know, like Mosul and Raqqa. But that's an aside. So, OK, let's stick with this. Trump never came up with a health care plan. Trump never came up with a plan to, uh, you know, uh, defeat ISIS. Trump hasn't done anything that he said he was going to do, which is why he's so angry. He's so angry because people around him are leaking to the press, trying to tell us he doesn't know what he's doing. And it's dangerous. He's like, you know, tell the Japanese to go get uh, nuclear weapons when North Korea goes crazy, uh, ballistic, seriously, you know. And so uh, people are trying to message to, you know, the real journalists in our country, please tell the American people this man is not good with numbers. He really did run a boutique business. He's a branding guy. He has no idea how the military works. He has no idea how government works. He doesn't understand anything about, you know, how a bill becomes a law. He doesn't understand. He's pissing off the Republicans so bad he's never going to be able to move a legislative agenda, even if he would have one, which he doesn't. So somebody has to talk to the American people about what we're seeing in the White House. Hence, a story yesterday sourced through 17 White House staffers. Now, you don't work in the White House unless he wants you there, okay? So there's 17 of his own people. Okay, so that said, you know, you, you now have this uh, Republican effort uh, out there to get their version of the repeal and replacement of Obamacare, except it's not repeal and replacement. It's repeal and go back to what we had before we had Obamacare. And uh, the only thing that's a little appealing to anybody is that there be tax credits for people who make up to 75,000. No, there'll be tax credits for people in age brackets. That's how it goes up to $75,000 a year. OK, and the Republicans, the Freedom Caucus, 
which are the Tea Party madmen and the libertarians like the Rand Pauls of the world, they don't want it because they say, we don't want to give tax credits to people. Tax credits are for business. Tax credits are for our corporatist pals. They're for our elitist, well-connected, lobbyist-connected friends who support our re-election re campaigns, not for the, the, the downtrodden masses. We don't, and, and it does away, it phases out uh, Medicaid. You know, there are 70 million people in this country that get their health insurance from Medicaid. Did you know that? 70 million about 150 million get their uh, insurance from their employers. Guess what this bill does? It says, employers, you don't have to provide health insurance anymore. You don't have to, if you don't want to, there's absolutely, for large employers, not small business, large employers, you don't have to employ, uh, you don't have to uh, uh, pay for health insurance for your people anymore. I, this is going back to worse than what we had before we had Obamacare because employers had to provide health care as, as a benefit to full-time employees, which is why they only let you work 39 hours. So this is, and, and you know, uh, they asked Jace, Jason Chaffetz with all, this, with all these changes, can you guarantee that millions of people will not lose their health care coverage? And he said, no, no, uh, you have a point, they will. <laughs> I mean, it's sick. You're not willing to say that more people won't become uninsured. Well, we lost, I think it was 4.7 million people or so actually lost the doctor that they had That's last year. That's not the question. The access is way down. When the cost in, in deductibles go up, you're not serving the American people well. And it, we have heard definitively that people know that this is not working. So we're going to try something different. We do think we can expand the coverage so that people have access, access. to a quality health care product that they want. More access, but possibly less coverage. That might be the byproduct. Well, it, it, yes. <laughs> Idiot. So, yes, your coverage will be less because, all right, let, let's go through what goes away, okay? I think this is a, a, a good idea. Um, f just remember what the Trump administration is all about. It's, it's all about Steve Bannon and Steve Bannon's desire to deconstruct what he called, this is his quote, uh, we'll never stop at deconstructing the administrative state, okay? So this is their goal. Their goal is to take away everything that you pay taxes for, okay? And all civilized societies include taxation because taxation provides you with not just representation but in most industrialized nations it provides you with benefits it provides you with uh, health care provides you with child care provides you with uh, you know minimum wage standards uh, it provides you with uh, safe work environments you know through it, here it would be OSHA it provides you with uh, no child labor laws it provides you know I mean this is why we pay taxes we pay taxes so we live in a civilized society well they don't see it that way uh, they're they're extremely uh, interested in just deconstructing the judicial branch. They're interested in deconstructing uh, the, um, uh, the 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 administrator. You know, any, uh, the media because you know any any check on the president's power has to be what they call deconstructed. It means it has to be defeated. It has to be demolished. It has to be taken out is basically what they're trying to do. And they're doing a very good job of it. Uh, we'll go over uh, today all the different regulations. You know, there's been 90 regulations that have been reversed, and a lot of them have to do with pollution uh, and dumping of, uh, you know, a uh, uh, coal slurry into your streams. A lot of it has to do with OSHA and safe workplaces. A lot of it has to do with the Internet, net neutrality. A lot of it has to do with the Internet and a, a reasonable effort by Verizon, who obviously has all your personal data, to protect that data. A reasonable effort. Uh, they they're gonna they, they already removed that uh, requirement from uh, you know big uh, carriers so they don't have to do that but let's the the, the tax uh, the the deconstruction of health care basically takes away you know the the ACA provided for um, basic coverage okay essential coverage in any health care plan that was sold on the exchange any health care plan sold on the exchange had to provide maternity care. It had to provide mental health care. It had to provide substance abuse care, right? It had to provide uh, um, uh, prevention, wellness, well women visits, cancer screenings. These plans that they want to sell don't have essential coverages. 
So they, your plan may or may not have, uh, you know, a, a, a well women visits or well men visits or physicals, annual physicals may not be covered. Uh, cancer screenings may not be covered. Um, you know, maternity care may not be covered. We do know that th- Planned Parenthood was mentioned in this particular bill 32 times. 32 times. They're defunding Planned Parenthood, period, end of story. So there goes cancer screenings uh, for poorer women. There goes contraception for poorer women. And they any, any policy that's sold on the exchange shall not include coverage for abortion. Why? Because you'll get a tax credit based on your age up to $4,000. Woohoo! If you're 64, you'll get $4,000. You know... <laughs> If you if you are on the exchange right now, uh, you could get uh, about six thousand dollars in subsidies, but they'll lower that to four thousand maximum for people sixty. If you're thirty and under, the maximum you could get in tax credits to buy health insurance is twenty thousand dollars. If you're thirty to forty, you'll get twenty five hundred dollars. These are tax credits, meaning if you don't make a living, if you know, if 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 you don't uh, you know uh, um, have any income to write the tax credit off against, then you don't get Jack, you get nothing. So poor people get nothing out of this, okay? If you're 40 to 50, they'll give you $3,000 tax credit. 50 to 60, you get a $3,500 tax credit. And 60 and over, 4000 a year. Now, that is less help paying for your premiums than you get now on Obamacare. And what they're doing is lowering the coverages on the health care plans. So like I said, you may not have uh, preventative care, you may not have cancer screenings, you may not have hospitalization in your plan, it may be only a catastrophic plan. Uh, I mean, it's a ridiculous thing. This is why the ACA was so important. It made essential health care plans include essential health care. And these plans will not. And they're going to say to you, You know, you go out and shop as if anybody, you know, that's like saying you can understand the deal you're entering into completely on your credit cards. You know, when your credit card comes in the mail and it has all those, uh, you know, inserts in it, all that paper with the tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny print. And it tells you, you know, uh, uh, the interest rate might be, you know, an introductory rate of 1%. But, you know, uh, after three months, it goes to 35% and you can't cancel it for, you know, and anything that you bought in between the, the you know, uh, the, the introductory period and the period after is now, you know, uh, uh, subject to the 30% interest rate if it's not paid off in full. And by the way, you know, uh, it's got all these, I mean, Elizabeth Warren, this is how Elizabeth Warren became famous. She was a professor at Harvard and she looked at the credit card contracts at the ones that come in the mail and she said not one consumer can understand anything that's written on these pieces of paper and the mere fact that they sent it to you and that you you're using the plastic shouldn't mean that you understood or or entered into this contract with the with, and she said by the way as a law professor I looked at whether or not this was a contract and she said it isn't a contract it's nothing anybody has ever seen in contract law it's some bizarre you know uh, 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 t- you know hold that they have on your on your personal finances once you swipe that card which is why I don't have a credit card I have a debit card I do not have a credit card I will not charge anything which is why you need to buy a stinking podcast cuz nothing gets charged it's all pay as you go here but anyway so the the the, the replacement Check this out. There's no more pre-existing condition. You know, the, the Obamacare said that they could not deny you health care if you came to the health care company with a pre-existing condition. This one says that you can be denied for a pre-existing condition if you come to the health care company and you haven't been continuously covered for 18 months. Meaning you got laid off from work. And during that period in time, you got sick. And now you go and you say, I, you know, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I, I have to buy a health care policy. And thank God it has essential coverage. I won't die. So I'll buy the lowest plan and I'll stick with the doctors in this plan. And, and, and somehow, you know, uh, maybe I'll get well, whatever. OK. Uh, and now they say, well, if you let your coverage lapse. Then and then you go buy health insurance, the health insurance company 
can charge you 30% more than somebody who didn't have a pre-existing condition. And if you let your coverage lapse, you're going to pay this 30% fine. So basically what they're saying is they levy a fine. The insurance companies, the insurers, they can levy a fine against you for not buying their product. Now, I wish I could do that. I wish I could levy a fine against you for not buying a stinking podcast. But I thought this was a free country, and I thought you were free to decide what you buy and when you buy it. But in Republican land, no. If you don't buy a health insurance policy and then you get sick, they can charge you 30% more. And also, they can charge you five times more if you're over the age of 40 than they charge somebody who's 20 So your health insurance ends up costing you more, and these plans don't guarantee coverages, so you get less. That's great. Clear for takeoff. Randy Rhodes Air Force. Air 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 Force. RandyRhodes.com. Go to RandyRhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.